Today we are leaving Disney. We had so much fun at the parks and we can't wait to get back to see Mickey Mouse. So while heading home, we're gonna stop at the Point South I-95 KOA Holiday. It's located right off of I-95 at exit 33, so it will be a really convenient stop for us. I think it'll be nice to come back here for more than one night stay. Hmm. And yeah. maybe come back when it's light outside and not really, really dark. Because it was really hard to see the space. It was. I didn't think it was the space. <laughs> I thought it was woods. Apparently there's a lake. But you have to be careful because there's actually something on the camp map that says, watch out for your dogs because the alligators will eat them. Yes. I saw that. And we're not that close to the dumpster. Yeah, I was worried about that when you said we were right <laughs> next to the dumpster. I was like, oh great, now we're going to get mice and rats in our RV. Yet another thing that terrifies me. Which is why we glamp and not camp. I know. See, but you wanted to camp at first. I told you you didn't. <laughs> and I know it seems weird because I was in the Navy. Navy's different than Marine Corps and Army. Yeah, we didn't like live in the woods. We camp out in these areas. I know. And sometimes we don't have tents. We just throw down a bag. I know. And sleep. You know, let's be honest. I was an IT specialist in the Navy. <laughs> I didn't do this kind of stuff. I know. I fixed computers. I wrote websites. I didn't... I stayed in hotels when you deployed. I stayed in hotels when I deployed. <laughs> I worked with FEMA. Yes, and the CBs. And the CBs. And coordinating. So, yeah. it was a different kind of job it was. than what you had or what a lot of other people have who are used to so, roughing it. I was right about one thing, though. <laughs> if you didn't want to actually camp. <laughs> no, you wanted to, but you didn't realize what that involved. <laughs> no, I, I wanted to push myself to do it. Oh, okay. So, when we first started all this, we wanted, I wanted to get, this all started with a Jeep, with a Jeep and a rooftop tent. Right. And somehow it turned into a big rig like this <laughs> behind us from that. And it was probably the smart thing to do because as I started thinking about it, right? Like as I started thinking about the rooftop tent going out somewhere in the woods because the Jeep can get there, right? I got a Rubicon, we can go anywhere. And then I started worrying about like, the raccoons, will they be able to get into our tent? And then what if there's a bear, will the bear be able to get into our tent? And then yes. what about mice, will mice get into our tent? Oh my gosh, can you imagine if we were at Fort Wilderness with the wild turkeys and we had a tent? They'd be right outside and you'd hear them a lot. They'd probably peck through it. They marks out one week of having it. Mm -hmm. Oh, yay! Yeah. Happy anniversary! Yeah, one week now, one entire week. And actually, it wasn't that we wanted to rush and camp with it. Right. It's that uh, it was so late with the delivery that we had set up this trip a couple of months ago. Actually, no, we waited to set up the trip until our salesman called and said that they're going to be delivering your RV. We would have had three weeks. And we ended up having like... Not even one, right? Not even one. It was like, pick it up on a Tuesday, leave on a Thursday. Right. Which probably isn't the ideal thing to do it, but we really learned a lot, I think, this trip. Yeah. I mean, we learned that when you turn off your... Is it those, are those auxiliary switches? <laughs> the ones yeah. for storage? That your inverter is also turned off, even if the inverter switch is on at the source. Always check the one above the door. And then the one inside the bay. We didn't touch the red switch. That was that's a big the one. one. I thought. The red switch off. was on. Yeah, that's all we on. knew. That's all we knew. I spent most of the time in the passenger seat reading all the manuals. And we figured out. We figured it out. Yeah. And watching videos. <laughs> watching YouTube. YouTube is awesome. When you get at your RV, or if you have an RV, YouTube is awesome. I mean, great, the community great. is just so great. I mean, we're brand new. We don't know anybody in the, in the RV community. We don't know anybody on YouTube who does RV. Reach out to us. You know, we'd love to meet all you guys. 
but I would really love to meet some folks because this has just been an amazing experience. This is an amazing community of people. Everyone is. is so helpful. Everyone says good morning. Everyone stops and talks to you. Everybody wants oh to know gosh. your story. Everyone talks to you. <laughs> if you don't RV, get into RV. If you're RVing, reach out to us because you know we love to build a community of other RVers. We love to meet other people. And not just not for this YouTube channel or anything like that. Just because it's, you guys seem like awesome, awesome people. It's I never fun. expected this. Got so much advice, like that gentleman yesterday mm -hmm. at, at Fort Wilderness telling us about his fleet with Discovery, and he had a bounder before that. Yep. And he told us there are lots of problems when you first get him that you have to work through. Right. That's normal. He says you can't help it. There's going to be a lot of problems, mostly annoying ones. <laughs> Nothing major. I mean, I have to admit, I mean, we're, we're changing topics a little bit, but I was, I was practically in tears yesterday once that drawer broke. That was kind of like my last straw because we had waited so long. We have waited a long time. And I was so, so, so excited. And after everything that else that happened with the bunk, with the headlights, um, with the, the sofa not being able to pull out, the dinette not turning into a sofa properly. I mean, there were just, and there were lots of other little things. I just, I just lost it. I did. Mm. Oh, we're almost done with our coffee. I'd love to take a walk around the campsite. Yeah, let's do that. All right, let's do it. This is our campsite. I'm about to go for a little walk. John's buttoning it, buttoning it up. I just want to show you what it looks like. It's a pull in sight. Look at this. There's a lot of noise from 95, but I mean, this is a great stop. Look at all the woods here. How fast can a gator run? Uh, they're, they're fast, but very, very short distance. How short? I'm just trying to figure out if they'll catch me because I know you run faster than oh, I do. No. This is an alligator habitat. My legs are slowing down for a reason. <laughs> it is saying I am scared. There is no need to go further. Alligators at lake, walk dogs at own risk. That's enough for me to turn around here. But for those of you who are adventurous and not afraid of wildlife, feel free. If you want to go see some gators, it seems like a very nice place to do it. So we made it back from the trail. I never made it to the lake. The last shot that you saw was the path leading to the lake with the gators. However, we did see campers returning with their dogs on leashes. So they were safe. Their pets came back safely. So I guess it was okay. I'm still not gonna do it. I still wouldn't do it. But I'm very happy that pet owners came back without any issues. I guess if you're careful, then everything is fine. So thank you for joining us. We hope you enjoyed the quick tour of the Point South I-95 KOA Holiday. We had a great time, even though it was just one night. I wish we could have stayed longer. So do me a favor, leave down in the comments below where you like to stay when you're traveling from Florida headed north on the I-95 corridor. We'd love to hear of some other great places. We plan to spend a lot of time traveling back and forth on I-95 going both north and south. And don't forget, 
please comment, like, and subscribe. It really helps our channel when you subscribe. And we'd like to be able to continue to bring you more great content as we learn. Uh, we plan to bring you some product reviews and also some tips on things that we're learning along the way on our journey. So thank you. Now go out and enjoy your adventure.